Yeah. Twins pod. You heard of the Quad Ass program? Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's called the Quiet Skies program. When you're put on the Quiet Skies program, that means you are considered a almost domestic terrorist. And that means that they get to Fourth Amendment rape your ass every time you travel. Because of the Patriot Act. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mike Pence. So, Quad S, what does that mean? Remember, I got TSA pre and clear. Yeah. Right. You know how that roll. Yeah, you roll they, already, they already investigated you to get that. Yeah. yeah. And while I'm traveling, I got my TSSCI as a lieutenant colonel in the reserves. Right. And I'm traveling with my military ID card. Right. Mm-hmm. What happens? I try to check in online through my phone. Nope, can't do it. I go up to the kiosk. Nope, can't do it. I go up to the counter. Uh, I've never seen this before, sir. I got to call someone. So they call over to the TSA, mm-hmm. and then they notify them that I'm in the airport. Then when I go to clear, the manager is like, oh, I can't let you in. You got quad S. I got to get the manager. Got to get some information from you. Then when I go through clear, they're like, hey, TSA at the checkpoint, my clear doesn't work. They're like, hey, you got to give them secondary screening. Secondary screening is top to bottom. They check your ear, inside earlobes. I mean, they take my wallet out Mm -hmm. and like swab everything. They take my iPad, take everything off. Mm -hmm. They're like, you want to do this in... uh, I got videos of all this, too, a mm-hmm. lot of my encounters. Mm-hmm. Before I start, I would basically go to the TSA officer. I got some of it online. Mm-hmm. I say, sir, ma'am, please read the first line of this amendment. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. Fourth and amendment. so I, as I had them on video read mm-hmm. that out loud, I, I would tell them, mm-hmm. You're about to conduct a Fourth Amendment rape of Ivan Raquin. Mm-hmm. I do not consent. Mm-hmm. Like, well, you don't have to travel. I'm like, well, I'm going to talk to the state legislature in Arizona, in New Hampshire, mm-hmm. in uh, Wisconsin. Why? Because I'm explaining to these speakers of the House and Senate presidents at these state legislatures mm-hmm. how they are at the point where they must reclaim their 2020 electors that were transmitted fraudulently, illegally. Mm-hmm. And so the federal government is trying to stop me from doing that, to communicate with them. Like digitally they did, right, right. through the censorship. Mm-hmm. Now they're doing it physically with the DHS. And he stripped you, look, sounds like they stripped you of your security clearance. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it vague? Got to keep it vague. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask that. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. Uh, it sounds like they investigated me. Yeah. They tried to find something on me. Yeah. So then... They walked, started a fishing expedition. They couldn't. The government, the director of the defense, this is the first time I'm saying this. Defense mm-hmm. Intelligence Agency director. Yeah, you know who you are. Made the decision to tell the contract company that I was supporting them on that I am not allowed in the building. Physically cannot enter the building to perform on the contract. My contract company is like, what? what? What's wrong? Just can't get in. And like, is there any D-Rogs, anything? No, nope. just can't go into the building. Why? Because of my First Amendment activity off-duty in my personal time. And because I got, you know, the platform and I was doing all this stuff. Yeah. So anyway, this is kind of a summary of all the Fourth Amendment rape activity that was conducted on me for 21 months. They couldn't find anything. The reason that they stopped is because I started communicating with the new leadership in the House in January 2023 the chair of the Homeland Security Committee, Mark Green, and his staff. I was like, hey, I'm on this list for political reasons. They've already done the 21 months of fraud, waste, and abuse Mm -hmm. with all this. Oh, by the way, they would would do this at the gate as well, not only at the security checkpoint. As soon as I got to the gate, they would do the same secondary screening in front of everybody at the gate. I recorded that too. I was like, hey. You guys are doing the Fourth Amendment rape again. Yeah, making your life difficult. Yeah, so. Sounds like that Will Smith movie was in Enemy of the State. Remember that father with Gene Hackman? Mm -hmm. And guess what? Mm -hmm. You think you're going to intimidate me? Not you. Not not you being all light-skinned and all. No, no. (laughs) I'm coming for you. Yeah. 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 I may be small. You might kill me in the process, but I will mutilate you. Yeah. Yeah. I will mutilate you just like you try to mutilate our kids. Mm -hmm. Ain't going to happen. Not on my watch. All right, it's getting serious, man. You're getting spicy here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so <laughs> with that, when you fuck with me like that, now it's time for me to fuck with you. Yeah. Now we go on offense. 
So 20 investigations later across DOD, DOJ, DHS of me. Mm-hmm. Now it's my turn. So what I've been doing the last 15, 16 months, this, check out my shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the deep, deep state deep? marauder. <laughs> yeah, some people call me the mauler. The mauler. <laughs> deep state mauler. It's easy to, for me to say. Marauder. <laughs> no, so marauder. Yeah. Just for, you know. Yeah. The whole history behind the word mar- marauder, the etymology, if you will, of yeah. the word. The etymology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, in, that's in big white man word. <laughs> hey, man, that light skin, you know, rubs off on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that brown on the inside. <laughs> so here's where we're at. When you invest, investigate me 20 times, mm-hmm. I'm going to do the same thing to you now. And I know who you are. Okay, so how does that work? I got to work with the the institutions that are going to be receptive to this, right? Mm-hmm. So this right here, you may have heard of. So when we took over the house, we came up with a couple options. How about we have a Speaker Trump, and I'll, I'll kind of outline this, mm-hmm. that does the following. Temporarily, why don't you go ahead and appoint the sergeant at arms? I'll take that position. I'll go totally aggressive, physical. And then release the footage and the internal documents of the January 6th activities. Mm -hmm. Well, we finally got them to release the footage, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're trying to get them to release the documents. Then we got to create a, called the House on American Affairs Committee. Remember that? Under McCarthy? Mm -hmm. House on American Activities Committee in the style of Joseph McCarthy to extirpate, ooh, big word, any and all CCP influence in the U.S., meaning extract, remove, Mm -hmm. eject. We created a committee on CCP, but it's weak. It's weak sauce. It was headed up by Gallagher, one of the three that didn't vote to impeach Mayorkas, and then he retired early. Mm -hmm. Little punk. Anyhow, he's a Paul Ryan lackey, right? The guy that's on faux news, Mm -hmm. the ones that you get way more views and listens than they do, those scum. And then we got the First Amendment activity that we're trying to create to end big tech and Chinese influence on American Internet freedoms. Well, we got the Weaponization Committee, right? So we got a little win. Mm -hmm. And then what about the Nuremberg Two Committee? Not yet, right? Not yet. But we did have a uh, coronavirus committee, select select committee on coronavirus. Right. Again, but the guy that chairs it, guess who it is? Brad Wenstrup. This dude is the guy that coined Mike Pence on January 6th. Remember him? Oh. Remember that dude gave him a coin? So you think they're probably tight besties? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best. Yeah, I'm sure that committee was, he, he was selected to cover up any involvement that Mikey Pence had or may have been involved in related to the White House Coronavirus Task Force. With his besties, Fauci, Fraudji, and Debbie Burks. Mm-hmm. And then the last one, committee to investigate the 2020 election and January 6th aftermath. We got a couple wins, mm-hmm. but I was trying to block McCarthy from becoming the speaker. I wrote 13 Substack articles. Remember, you had to fill out your form for security clearance? Mm-hmm. It's called SF86. Right. If it's like for TIA, top secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I ran a, a counterintelligence investigation using that framework on Kevin McCarthy mm-hmm. before he was, because everybody's like, oh, he's just going to be the speaker. I wrote it up, and I was texting it and emailing it to all 222 members mm-hmm. of the Republican conference as I published it going into January 3rd when they voted him in. Mm-hmm. We beat him 16 times, but on the 17th, yeah. unfortunately, he pulled it off he temporarily, it off. right? Temporarily. But then he didn't do what we had requested. Partially he did, but he wasn't releasing the video. What was his motive not to do that? This is where we go on January 6th. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. How much time we got? We got time. We got time. We're good. good. We're good. good. Okay. <laughs> it's getting deep. This is where I'm going to be real humble again. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> People like a humble guy. <laughs> I know... Okay, before I get into humble mode, I, yeah. I got to explain to you, understanding what I used to teach mm-hmm. and then pissing me off, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to use every single waking moment to prove that January 6th was a Fed surrection, mm-hmm. and I'm going to identify who exactly was involved in it, and we're going to create consequences known as retribution for every single one of them, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm serious. Yeah. Right. We are going to crush them two ways. We're going to castrate the deep state. I prefer an ice pick. Where are them mm-hmm. knives at? 
by the way. <laughs> yeah, we got I want this nice. to be graphic. Oh, these knives. <laughs> these knives are crazy. Yeah. Um, three veterans right here on the table. Three mm -hmm. musketeers, baby. Yeah, wait, musketeer. wait, hold on, hold on. Hit it, hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't done in cadence. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. My yeah. motto at this point as the deep state marauder, uh -huh. twofold. Phase one, castrate the deep state, right? Right. Two, crush the commies. Mm -hmm. The way I look at it, ca castrating the deep state means cleaning our own house, right, in the United States. Once mm -hmm. we can get it cleaned out, then we can start going after China for what they did mm -hmm. with the Fauci-funded lab incident mm -hmm. that crushed our economy. Mm -hmm. That basically, I mean, it, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go rated X yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, imagine this is a ice pick, okay? Mm -hmm. How do you castrate the deep state? You know, some people say like, oh, man, Ivan, you poking the bear, man. What are you doing? Aren't you scared? I'm like, no, nah, they're scared. And now we're moving from poking the bear to ice picking the bear. Mm -hmm. Now we start off with, imagine, you know, the male genitalia is hanging right here. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's the proverbial deep state. Mm -hmm. So far I've been scratching it like this underneath. Mm -hmm. Tickling them balls, huh? Now I'm transitioning to scratching them like this. Yeah. And we're about to move to scratching them like that. To put the tip in there. Yeah, and it ain't gonna just be the tip. <laughs> Look, everybody, inflation is out of control, and this problem is only gonna get worse. Can't have all your eggs in one basket, okay. especially when you got people like Sleepy Joe holding the basket in the White House. That's why me and Kevin are always diversifying our assets. That's the kind of diversity, equity, and inclusion we like. Yeah. The value of silver, gold has been steadily rising, while the value of the American dollar has been falling. Because what? Inflation. Because our government sucks. Now y'all, purplebar.com is changing the game. Making it easy for all of us to protect our financial futures. Look how cool these gold and silver bars are. Patriotic engraving on there too. Looks real nice. The bars are perforated so they can easily break apart and can be conveniently exchanged if the dollar collapses. So we all need to have backups on backups. Purplebar.com, get your own gold and silver bars today secure your financial future yeah